Dozens of veterans are excited about a flight that will take off this weekend heading to Washington, D.C. Now, the trip is an event to honor those who were called to serve. Cameron Brewer, he joins us in studio here to tell us more about the upcoming honor flight. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. For years, the honor flight had to be postponed because of the pandemic. Now, veterans are packing their bags in preparation of the moment to walk on board. In addition to the flight, veterans will tour the city and receive recognition for their service. I spoke with four brothers who served this country, and they're beyond excited about this journey as a family. The Mertz brothers grew up in a large family of nine brothers, each serving in the military. Back in 1952, when my oldest brother joined the Navy, and we have we served until 1972. You know, I always had some footsteps to where I could follow. I wasn't, you know, like to say the last. You know, I was always there was always someone ahead of me, and I always wanted try to be like them. Now, Clarence, Curtis, David, and William will all travel to Washington D.C. participating in the Western North Dakota Honor Flight. I never was to Washington D.C. I was going there about three years ago. We planned to do the East Coast, but then we ran into bad weather and we did not. So this is a great privilege for me to go to Washington, D.C. The brothers will be able to see the Lincoln Memorial, Korean Memorial, and World War II Memorial. Ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the uh, seat by the wing. <laughs> Curtis Mertz hasn't been to Washington in over 50 years, which he says is important for him to go back and he thinks it will be better to go with his brothers by his side. I visited Washington, D.C. back in 1967, before I even went into the service. So I'm kind of looking forward to see the changes there, because that was kind of a quick tour at that time, and, you know, it had grown quite a bit since that time. My brothers all said, you should go, we go with a team. So I figured, well, it's a good thing to do together. The veterans will board their honor flight this Sunday, and there actually will be a police escort for them in Washington. And Josh and Alicia, I will be there to capture it all and we'll bring yeah. live coverage from Washington, D.C. about oh, this journey. I can't yeah. wait. You know, there's not very, not very many times that we can say we're looking forward to a Monday. This <laughs> Monday, I can't wait for. I mean, what an opportunity for these brothers. I bet that was amazing visiting with them. It was. It was so amazing and just hearing their story and hearing how they come from a large family. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, just their, their, you know, their, their time of service for this country, which is amazing, especially coming from nine brothers. <laughs> you know? Well, you're going to be there capturing a That's lot right. of it. The whole time. Really looking forward to yeah. that recording, Cameron. Great yes. opportunity. And, and 